Hi, I'm Christine Armashaw and welcome to Horse Hacks by Christine. Uh, this is Violet, she's a young horse we've got who manages to grow always the most fabulous long and voluptuous tail. So she's going to assist me today in teaching you how to trim a horse's tail. Um, so to start with, you want to make sure your horse's tail is clean and brushed. I've already done this. And I want to put a disclaimer in here that if you're going to brush, wash your horse's tail and brush it all on the day you're going to trim it, make sure your horse's tail is dry before you cut it because the hair stretches when it's wet. So if you cut it when it's wet, it will end up even shorter than you expect when it's dry. So bear that in mind. So either cut it when it's dry or if you're going to cut it when it's wet, leave it a little bit longer than what you actually want it to be because it'll shrink back up again. And you don't want to end up with an ugly short tail. Not pretty. Okay, so what you want to do is have your horse's tail nice and clean and brushed. You want it so that all of the ends of it are pretty much level. When you're actually brushing it to start with, you really want to brush your horse's tail in segments so as to not rip the hair out. So I've already pretty much brushed your tail so that we can give it a good trim. And when you see it down at full length, it's nearly on the ground. The height that you trim your horse's tail is dependent on the horse's overall look, how long its tail is in the first place, what discipline you're in. Um, I'm not going to worry about going into that kind of detail. What I want to do is have her tail trimmed so A, it's not dragging on the ground and she can't step back onto it and start pulling the hair out. And B, that it is just keeps nice and trimmed at the end so it keeps it a little neater, stops it going split, stops breaking at the ends. So what I'm going to do which I think is the most important thing, this is my tip that I've got to teach you, is that when you trim, don't trim while it's just hanging straight. When your horse is moving, they carry their tail. So to trim it, you're going to put your arm underneath the horse's tail like so. You're going to run your hand all the way down, and that's how you're going to trim it. And you can always cut more, but if you cut too much, you can't put it back on. So I always recommend starting with a lesser amount than you want to take off at the end and just checking it and doing it a little at a time. Okay, so remember, your arm goes under the tail, you grab the rest of it. So the arm you want to put under the tail is your cutting hand. You put your fingers over the rest of it, go all the way down, not quite to the end. And the bit that you're holding is where you want to cut across. Now, you want to have really sharp scissors. Mine could be sharper, to be fair. But also, Violet's got super thick tail. You can actually also do this with clippers if you want. This isn't for a show tail finish though. This is just to get her tail neat and tidy. So once more, arm under, lift that tail up. It really helps if you know where your horse carries its tail naturally. So you'll maybe you want to get someone to walk it around first so you can see how high it lifts it. Run your hand down and then trim across the bottom. Now, once you've got it at the length that you're actually after, We can afford to go a little bit less off, a little bit more off, or rather, take a little bit less that we've got reaching to the ground. I'm not going to do it. <gasps> Remember, you can always cut more, but you cannot put it back once you've cut too much. One time, I gave the job of cutting the horse tail at my stables to a new person, and turns out everybody doesn't know how to do that, and she cut way too much off so honestly cut a little bit and then add and then more as you as you need to <laughs> just really seriously bear that in mind okay so that's pretty good there lifting it up and now i just want to bang it off and make it square so i'm not taking more of the length i'm actually just evening out those long hairs just to tidy it up and we're going to do that about three times once we're at the ideal length she's got such a thick tail we're very lucky, she's got the thickest tail of any horse that I've got here. My other horse is a thoroughbred Appaloosa warm blood and it's got hardly any tail. And the other one is a straight thoroughbred and his is somewhere in between. So third time, lift, run hand down to the bottom and you just want to square it off like so. And then check it out. Now we've got a lovely tail that's 
off the ground, it's above the fetlock, and you can see it looks a little bit uneven while she's standing like this, and that's because we've trimmed it to be level when she's carrying it out like that behind her and she's moving. Right, and that's how you cut a horse's tail. Thanks for watching, remember to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.